and we're back to Dark and Rand trying to save the galaxy in Mass Effect 3. Yay. Last time we uh, saved an old friend of ours and um, her students. And Oh hey, look at that. Jack and the Grissom students are on the Normandy. <laughs> Let's go take a visit, How, shall we? the lounge. Yeah. Trying to treat her wounds because she got shot. Uh, no dialogue, unfortunately. In fact, I kind of clipped through them. <laughs> oh. It's just a nice little touch the um, mod maker, when the mod maker's added. Huh. You know, it makes it actually feel like you're doing something and just magically teleporting them out of danger. Yeah. They're supposed to hang around until the next time Normandy docks, I think. Yeah, yeah makes sense. Come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrett. I'll be fine, Leon. I'm just gathering some thoughts. All right. Okay, then. Data filing, Earth QEC transmission. Transmission of Union Inc. That's a lot of words. It's unknown. You have examined all the tr all the treaty. Nods. I don't think there's an option. The UNIN must sign the treaty. Would it hold their end of the bargain? Oh, for don't start redacted. The machines hit us hardest. We're starving. Peace is our only option. Bastard, you'd sell out mankind for a few scraps? The machines aren't here as conquerors. They're here to slaughter us all. Bullshit. There's no evidence that supports that theory. Have you looked out a fucking window lately? <coughs> Redacted. Transcript resumes at 113. Shouldn't we be throwing our weight behind resistance? The Alliance? Give me strength. So, you're going to roll over for the squids. You know the terms. We'll have to pacify countries to fight against them. Quiet, all of you. <clears throat> Redacted is white. Whatever choice we make, we're faced with genocide. If we don't do what they demand, then our extinction comes quickly. If we play along, we buy ourselves a few decades at best. And the resistance? We do what needs to be done. I hate politicians. Yep. Ghost of... Oh yeah, that. <clears throat> AI controlled <laughs> alien AI controlled ship makes contact in Solarian space. Well then. As we swallowed this news and left a bitter taste behind. Would this lead to another war with synthetics? It was a prospect that we all feared after the Battle of the Citadel and still fear to this day. Our fears weren't realized. We were told that this Ark had been traveling thousands of years, and that it held billions living inside a computer world. That's one billion virtual aliens. Not to mention that they had tech that made ours look medieval. They could swap minds with other people, and that they claimed asylum in Citadel space. Hundreds volunteered their bodies so these aliens would, could leave their ship and live in the real world. After half a year, we've heard nothing. There have been no follow-up interviews, reports, or ship sightings, and the council are silent. Where is this Ark Ventilum? Where is the technology that the galaxy was promised? Where are the hundreds of men and women who prostituted their bodies for synthetic benefit? They never existed. They never have. It's a ruse by the elite who want to placate you as they embark on plans to offer to get an embassy. They want to replace your job with artificial labor. Do you want bulb heads driving your taxis, serving your drinks, and delivering your shopping to the door? No! Right now, right now to your local city councilor. Be heard. Use your mind and don't accept city propaganda. I don't know. If those bulb heads had anything like Legion, then kind of, yeah. <laughs> Alliance interrogation record of a Cerberus operative. <coughs> Check out the implant she's got jammed in her face. Shh, she's awake. Unintelligible. Hello, do you know where you are? Unintelligible. <coughs> you know how much goddamn trouble you're in? Hey, ease up. Listen, you're in trouble, I'm not gonna lie. But that doesn't mean we can't work something out. If you help us, we can... Explosion. <coughs> you okay? I'm okay. <coughs> Holy hell, she's dead. What? The whole front of her face is gone. Some kind of ocular flashbang. Well, shit. Is everyone in servers rigged up like that? 
Okay. Is there, that survived? Yeah, there's a comment with Morden in the previous game where he makes a comment about a uh, uh, Cerberus um, security procedures and how ocular flashbangs would be a better uh, means of handling it. I guess Miranda put some of those listening bugs back. Welcome. Call between Kasumi Goto and Professor Olauzen. Hi, Professor. Welcome. You know that one-of-a-kind point-to-point comm server you were talking about the other day? Do you have any information on its whereabouts? I've got something better. Check your front door. I... But a server's locked in the server's facility. Not anymore. This would be invaluable for the Crucible. Thank you, Miss Goto. You're the brilliant astrophysics professor. I'm just a tech expert doing some odd jobs. By the way, you would not believe how many credits Cerberus lives, leaves lying around in the open. <laughs> uh, so, I guess that's a way of saying, uh, of saying, I already got paid for this. <laughs> Call from Kaylee Sanders to Jack. Hmm. Hey Sanders, checking on the kids? How are they, Jack? They'll do good. This is this gonna be long. I kind of got crap to do. I wanted to tell you. I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that biotic amp you and the children were testing at Grissom. You can pick it up on the Citadel. Damn, one of the LXX L3X1s? You know how much shit I could tear up with one of those installed? I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah, and hey, thanks. Hmm. Character development marches on. Yay. <laughs> And from Kaylee Sanders to David Anderson. David, you won't get this for a while unless you find an extra connection working on Earth. I've made it out, of, out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete and it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care, for my sake. Oh. Yeah, like, if you've read the novels and I've read a couple of them, it's very clear. They were a thing for, for quite a while. Anything? Hello, Liara. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks. But he had surveillance there all along. I guess she didn't have any, really anything we'll talk new. Later, Liara. Of course. I thought she might have some commentary. Greetings, Commander. Uh, is there anyone else? Oh yeah, we should probably head down to uh, deck four. Uh, wait, Cerberus <laughs> shuttle, not on deck five. My bad. Okay, now I'm curious. Oh, oh my. This is not going to be a fun conversation. Yeah. I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. Lost my husband. I grieve. Oh. Said goodbye, made my peace. Yeah, that's painful. I'm talking to him when the collectors hit. I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. 
You're not alone. Steve. Understand that one? I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100 percent I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Hardest things usually hit when you are not currently busy doing something. Yeah. And I guess we're just keeping this now. <laughs> you know the shuttle that we escaped on? Oh uh, yeah. Casually another shuttle. See if James got anything to say. Makes sense. What the hell's up with Edie? He's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home. You take her on a mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really say blame him. Time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah, but I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, <laughs> I like to keep Esteban on his toes. <laughs> I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. <laughs> What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy. But the shit you've done? <laughs> makes me look sane. Fair enough, loco does mean crazy. Yeah. James is a fun character, I like him. Mm -hmm. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? <laughs> Next topic? What? You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines. And it was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing. I'll talk to you later. You bet. Yeah. James is a good Marine. Let's see, anything else I can talk to? Breaking now, a city of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. New footage from Earth reveals the Reaper's plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. Sucks. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Enlightening. Sounds how that's right. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy, she is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space bearing vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR-2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See, Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite for being organic. We have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot. So which one, Ram? She is the Normandy. Mm -hmm. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space I'll go with passenger, especially since now she's, you know... <laughs> Engineer Donnelly? Yeah. The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. 
those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> <laughs> Philosophical AI. Yeah, that could impossible go wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember when we got just, them those, uh, those upgrades? Yeah, just the way of saying we keep our upgrades. Yeah. Yeah, I remember and then uh, we played cards with them and Tally and got a bunch and got some money. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see what we got. That was fast. News article on from Emily Wong. Hmm. It is with deep regret that we inform our readers of the death of Emily Wong. She had been broadcasting via Soulcom before the Reaper assault on Earth when the Com buoys fell silent. If you even That's remember not the her, Emily Wong, the one travel one. No, she was the one oh. that uh, we did a couple quests for in the first game. Oh, that sucked then. <clears throat> Meanwhile, from Ashley Williams, Udina made an offer and I accepted. I'm a Spectre. Can't believe it. With everything falling apart, what does this e even mean? Any does this even mean anything? All the authority, resources, freedom, the whole scary package. But, I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Come by the hospital if you get a chance. They're still keeping me here, but I'm planning on sneaking out soon. Oh, shit. <laughs> From Liara. Shepard, someone identifying hmm. himself as a rare arms dealer, has contacted an agent within the Shadow Brokers network, attempting to find you. He's conducted business with the previous broker, though his exact identity eluded even my predecessor. While he is less of an acquisition specialist that, that he claims to be and more of a battlefield scavenger, he does have some shockingly underpriced merchandise that you may find useful. My sources indicate that he's recently been buying vast amounts of EZO and life support equipment, though his intentions for these purchases remain unclear. While I am uncertain of, as to his exact location, his ship is somewhere in the Rosetta Nebula. Probably plundering Ezo from a recently downed vessel, if you care to investigate. Could hmm. be worth a look. Yeah. From Miranda. Commander, Goodbye. I heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked you up to keep you there. We should talk. It's safer in person. You'll find me on the Citadel at Bay D24. Interesting. And from a forwarded message uh, from Kaylee Sanders. Hmm. Commander. I didn't have time to thank you properly after you got us out of the academy, and Admiral Hackett agreed to send us your way. While my students are out on duty, I'm doing what I can to help at the Crucible. It's an amazing project, more advanced than anything I've ever seen before. Some of my more tech-minded kids are staying back to help out too, and watching them work, it's the future, Commander. This project will inform human progress for generations, and I'll have you to thank for it. I love getting messages thanking me for all that stuff I do. Yeah, it's nice. So let's investigate this little arms dealer. Rosetta Nebula. Nerdata, it sounds like we're about to go back right back to the Citadel again. Yeah, or over uh, the Eden Prime. For a side quest. Yeah, that is And speaking too. of just grabbing stuff, might as well grab us over here. Right in the middle of Batarian space. Oh. So there's really no friendlies here. I found something. At this point, I'm pretty sure the Batarians hate uh, hate the Reapers a lot more than they hate us. Yeah, probably. But do you think now they actually understand why we blew up an entire one of their systems? Maybe. Weapon upgrade kit. I'll take it. Ooh. That's probably useful. That's actually and a, good a fuel depot. Nothing to see here. Karshan. The Batarian homeworld. Well done. Don't write those Vatarians, we're just casually scanning you. <laughs> what do we have here? The Pillars of Strength. It's a cultural artifact. Hmm. If you were listening last time we were on the Citadel in the uh, refugee uh, bay, 
there was a Batarian preacher talking about if, uh, to hold the pillars of strength close to their hearts. I'm sure he can he'd appreciate us bringing that by. Like did we just grab the entire thing? Yeah, like we grabbed the pillars of strength, the originals. <laughs> Those sound like they'd be pretty big. Just saying. Listen, normally don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> if any ship in the galaxy is gonna just yoink an, ent an entire monolith. It's probably Normandy. Signal confirmed. Oh. More fuel. Well, we did spend a bit of it to... to get to the system, I guess. So we're here. Just some credits. Money! Yeah, that's everything out of here. Oh, Volar is where you need to go. Uh... Oh, yeah, it's labeled. I'm dumb. Oh, well. We can probably stop by and do something way back later. Yeah. I found something. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Black market artifacts. So now we oh, can wrap that quest up. Like that. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I mean, it still says find artifacts. So yeah, I, I don't know. That. Oh my god, my mouse sensitivity just spiked. There we go. And there's something over there. That's what that is. Caver Station. Or what's left of it. Yeah. Alliance Intelligence reports that there was once a sizable military space station trailing Heba that was tasked with arming and refueling ships to repel pirates. Slave revolts and foreign invasion. The Weepers wasted little time in destroying it during their conquest of Kamala. Sounds no. about right. Yeah. Anything on Dark Toscan here? Oh. Probably just fuel. Probably. Yeah. And that's it. There's nothing here. Oh. Well, yeah, there it is, 100%. We still missed something. Probably over the Probably back and pull it. Yeah. Ah, go in the system! <laughs> UI is oh, well, the, not always the best. We'll come back, maybe. Possibly. Alright. What's over here? Nope. And let's go ahead and deal with that. Investigate it. Yeah, might, might as be, well. Might be something interesting. Yeah. Might be something else to bring back to the... To the devil. Unlikely. So didn't have enough of that yet, huh? How's your fuel, by the way? No bueno. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might want to... ...not just do that. <clears throat> Commander, thank you for responding to my message. The broker's efficiency never ceases to amaze me. I think you'll be quite impressed with what I have to offer. My entire stock is at your disposal for what I think you will find are quite reasonable prices. I've decided to take a long trip and have no need for credits where I'm going. However, I do need artifacts, resources, and technology. That is where you come in. Choose a contract and return to me once complete. For each one of each one you complete, I'll offer you an item of your choice from my inventory. As an act of good faith in our mutually beneficial arrangement, please peruse my collection and select an item. The first one is free. Oh my. Curious. Now, what does he offer? Free selection. Chakra launcher. Oh my. That's a um, shotgun we'd get later. Geth pulse rifle. Oh my. That's a sniper rifle we'd get later. That's. I'm sorry, Nani the fuck? Those are not free. That is normally a weapon you just find lying around and you use it until it runs out of ammo. And you can just get it. The arc pistol, which you'd get later. Black Widow, which I think we already have. Wraith, Paladin, Collector Rifle, Collector Sniper, Collector SMG. <laughs> just because. Stratos and various... Terminus Armor, my favorite. Oh, hey, it's the Blue Dragon Armor as well. And the Blood Dragon Armor. 
If you can just get one of those for free. Go armor, heavy assault armor, Cat 06 Atlas. Something tells me you've made up your mind. <laughs> Yoink! We just need to figure out how to actually use them. Alright. Okay, these are interesting. Hmm. Well, we'll just grab it. See what we can get. Can we grab all of them? Uh -huh. Guess not. Cat O C oh, Atlas. Yeah, it just forces you back to the nearest fuel depot. Which was where we were going anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll come back here anyway. So now then. You probably want to get more of, more of those free items. Yep. Including, you know, get speed fire. <laughs> <laughs> so should we go for the Citadel first, or... Head for Eden Prime. Uh, let's go to Eden Prime. Alright, let's go investigate that Prothean artifact. Side quest, side quest. Last time we dealt with a Prothean artifact on Eden Prime, it literally started the whole series. Yeah. So what could possibly go wrong, right? <sighs> let's go. It really huh? How many it would be. It so far. <laughs> so you're bringing Liara by force, and we would be able to bring Jack. Oh. But not for this, apparently. Huh. So Jack does become an option. Uh, thanks to the glory of modding. Ah, that makes sense. But I guess we still need to actually keep their children safe. So. Something like that. Probably. So we might have been able to bring her if we had stopped by. No, I think like she'll uh, disembark once we go to the Citadel. That. So like anyway, she won't become an option anymore at that point. Oh. Um, I'm not sure how it works. Oh. Uh, maybe you should check at some point. So, next time we get one of those cho choices, we're getting the get speed fire, right? <laughs> Tempting. Because that looks awesome. Mm. There's a fucking grenade launching assault rifle. And I'll hold on to my points for now. So, Garrus, just fucking auto level. Singularity. When in doubt, singularity. Your singularity. Just singularity. It is. Where the Prothean beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was yeah. busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy. That was a bad day. You always did prefer a straight up fight. And you're always good at helping me find them. <laughs> the hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major The one that is one of the few party members that never really need any instantly convincing. <laughs> they deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. 
What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. Pretty really sure everything is better off with us than Cerberus. Other than an iron to move. Alright everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus oh, yeah, is here. Is in Yenera, really. <laughs> I guess I got right. Lose one, you can always move on to another. But you'd still remember. Yeah. Looks like I'm sure an Aquarius would feel fine losing one of the blue chips. No, dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. A bit, but at least you're catching on these days. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still entirely possible she might have found a dinosaur, so <laughs> it would still be a valid question. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? An actual Prothean? Like the collectors or... <laughs> you see what I actually call that. <laughs> like the bodies we found back on Island. Right on time, too. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Okay. Yeah, Turtles are probably not happy that we're here. Took them long enough. Snipers. Yep. Use your stun. That's an idea. Aren't so it? It's almost like you brought a sniper. It's almost like I brought a long range assault rifle. That too. Let's see. Let's say it's not a sniper. It's an assault rifle with a scope. Pretty much. Alright, time to look around for clues. 
that was putting up and looking for clues. Fuck no. Everyone knows that's a stupid ass idea. Exactly. Never split the party. What do we have here? Troop deployment update. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the neighborhood continue stand-up patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in the area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they could do some serious damage. Hmm. Well, wait a... Wait a minute to make him extra understaffed. Nope, that's an idea. Mm-hmm. Get off the cover, you imbecile. <sighs> Hello there. Can I interest you in an overload? So, like, you think they would have by now done like a protocol shepherd or something? First step, destroy all computers or something. Delete all messages or something like that. Maybe. Now, back to you. Fuck off. Don't you have your own card you could use? I do. I do. Okay, for good. Kind of. Oh well. You dead? You are now. In this is indeed it is now. Studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Oh, yeah, that looks more like a lab. Yep. Now what can we find here? Yeah, the rest of the stuff looks more like, you know, somebody's fucking home. I mean, this one was also pro probably somebody's fucking home. They just, you know, moved like lab equipment or something. Understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure how that exactly worked, but okay. We got infested with the Protean! Interesting. It also might just mean that we might be literally the only ones capable of speaking to him when once he wakes up. <laughs> That's an interesting pose. She didn't even have the time to move, huh? Yeah, that's supposed to just be a bunch of trooper corpses. That apparently they shifted it around for, you know, mm. to make it look worse. 
Ja, så lite att guys army still kan det lyfta din tia. Ja, modding is not a precise science. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This is in a military stronghold. In somebody's home. We didn't kill these people. And we're going to shut down the bastards who did. Also, casually blood dragon armor. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Yes, that's one way to get it without dying. Yeah, uh, okay, modern community, chill the fuck out. Like, we know you like your crossover, so come on. Well, I mean, the Blood Dragon armor was a part of the original game. It yeah, being here, saying, like, it being apparently here. Apparently it's very popular given how many ways to get it with buttons. Yeah, like, like, getting it here was not originally a thing. Kinda figured. I wonder. Well, nope, you have it does not it, explode. Man. Oh, the gas bag. Yeah. Oh, well. We tried. Hey, don't forget you have a turret. And a drone. I also have lead. Yes. Yes, you do. Also that. I cast fireball. There, that lab found footage yeah, of the Protheans. Like Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. We'll get to that in a minute. If my memory serves me, and it probably does, there should still be two more bits of that intel. Hmm. We should probably go find it. Yeah, before we get distracted with you know everything else. Main story, <laughs> or well, not exactly main, but you know. Yeah. And that's your smoke. Can I climb that? Nope. Guess not. Hmm. You might be literally superhuman, but you cannot lift yourself up. So it would seem. We were just in here, weren't we? Yeah. Probably. Let's try going up here. Ooh. Anything up here? No. Let me down. Garrus. <laughs> Can you not like just drop down a different ledge or something? Oh well. Like looking for consoles. You know, I used to sort of know where this shit was, and, you know, then I stopped playing the game. Then you didn't play it for a while. Then I didn't play the game for a couple years. Yeah, happens. Often. Mm. You've got a better, a better idea of where you are than I do. I mean, it's not a complex layout. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'd probably have a better idea if I was the one playing. Yeah. Just search every countertop, every terminal, every little thing. And eventually something will glow. Yeah, that's the plan. And this is a drop down. Yeah, apparently that's just nothing. Mm. Oh, what are we here? <clears throat> resistance information update. We've gotten word from our source within Eden Prime's resistance movement that we can expect an attack on our security center between 2200 and 2300 tomorrow night. They're pulling in forces from across the colony. This gives us a perfect chance to destroy their leadership. Once the attack is contained, allow Dr. William Cambia Cambiata to escape. Fire near-miss shots to keep it realistic. He's given us good information, and with luck, the locals will see him as a daring hero and the only man to escape the Cerberus trap. They might even put him in charge. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Hmm. That's two. There should be one more somewhere. So, they planted someone in. 
So yep, there's a mole. No surprise there. Yep. Have I been up here already? I think so. Probably. And this replaced the hacking minigame. So much That's better. Just, just be there. Wait a moment. Hey, you got the XP. That means you're gonna die, right? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, that was the main one. Whoops. Yeah. They was. I guess the one. Oh, the one when you have this for later or something. Or like, you find the later. That's just side material stuff. Um, I, have yeah, no, where, I have a hunch where. I have a hunch where it could be. Okay. You also have biotics. Bunker, who's inside, is already on fire. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life ones. Alert! Broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. Not gonna make it easy. Yeah. Good. If it were easy, it wouldn't be interesting. Can't the way to get the elusive man's ass. I did. Did you not see me do it? Uh, I thought that was an enemy. No, when I that thing I threw out at the start of the fight. Oh, uh, I didn't see where it landed, so I didn't see it. It was the right in the middle of the enemy. Like, yeah, I thought you had just thrown another explosive or something. I don't have grenades of this class, unfortunately. I mean, uh, you know what I mean, incinerate or whatever. Nope. That is very clearly a fireball. Yeah, fair enough, but you know, it does happen pretty fast. Uh, no, it does not cover. That was close. I know Miley, I know Miley, I know Miley. Oh no! Whoop, 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 whoop. Dive! Uh, that was close. Jeez, oh, P, just two good. turrets staring at me. Yep. That's a grenade. Yep. Right. I don't have to aim with this. I can just hit in your general direction and it'll damage you. Oh, and that's still and that still managed to headshot him to the, um, <laughs> the viewport. Fun. I 
and you would have got that sniper to just shoot through the shield. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've got the mod that lets me pierce through it anyway. Yeah. Cannot pierce that though. Where's our side quest? They've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. Another way across. Well, that didn't take very long to find. I sure hope what I'm looking for is over here. Yeah. Let me a little. F yep, there it is. Yeah. Processing update. We've taken more able bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a service research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increased food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. And if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Well, now they know. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Which means we need to look at I'm on it. Okay. Yeah, they get the natural fucking code, basically. Okay, John cover. I was just trying to make sure Garrus got into cover. Yeah, of course, yes, one. Singularity is so mean. <laughs> Pop. Great little headshots. Oh. Here's a funny oh. thing. Headshot. Fuck about your cover. <laughs> Singularity is so mean. It really is. Biotics I are so know. mean. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's space magic. Of course it is. You're not wrong. Then again, the tech powers that are also basically space magic. <laughs> In a sense. Yeah, I mean, sure, they do different things, but they're still bullshit. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean,. I cast fireball. And yes, I'm I was just hitting him through the um wall. Because the nice thing is those piercing mods actually give me a uh, um punch through. Yeah. Also, you know, throws a tiny ball. Big fuck off turret, I choose you. <laughs> I mean, it's not really that big. No, but definitely has more mass than the than what you throw. I mean, ran. Oh. Never mind. I thought it was kind of similar to the. No, know, the Cerberus turret is big. I mean, you can see the thing stuck on the engineer's back. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs yeah. fresh okay, clip, that one at least makes more sense. <laughs> if anyone needs a fresh clip or a bathroom break, the now's the time. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. I have no idea, I'm just waiting. There it is! Heavy mech, don't let it get close! Okay. I only wish we could have a power mech. Thanks for taking the hit, Garrus. Yeah, 
you know? I keep thinking space is dodge and it's not. Indeed. I can't actually see the pilot there. Fuck. Well. It's fine. I guess you hit the pilot. Guess so. Eh. <laughs> Trying to go for it, were you? I guess that didn't work for him. Anyone else? Uh -huh. I don't know. Yep. Well then, if you're just gonna leave us lying around. Out of the way. This is mine now. Hijack an Atlas mech. Where are they? I can't see. Oh, you're in the building. Man, it really sucks to be him. Wed in the building. Can I, can I squeeze this in there? Yes. No. I totally Aww. can squeeze that in there. I guess this is not Halo after all. Guess not. Okay, mech fun time over. Oh. Can't you just bring the mech over to the pod in case there's an extra round? Gain consciousness. Not that long, it seems. Not the best of greetings. He's confused. Is this time to chase? Wait. Please tell me he's gonna be playable. Remember, or, it's been you know. 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored. Coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life on now. That's painful. <laughs> How many others? Just you. You can understand me? Yes. Now that I've read your physiology, your nervous system, not to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Everything they could. They never gave up. And I could 
use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. <laughs> no. I guess we will see. A living Prothea. That's correct, Ed. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on that sounds important. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons. Yes. Which? I just this again. Yep. Saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. Then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Hmm. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not 
become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dry. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. <laughs> last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. He's got a if great glare. I have a few more mm -hmm. questions I'd like to ask. He's got more eyes to glare with us, Oh boy. I've over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Has been fifty thousand years. <laughs> this is going on a bit long, but let's go ahead and probe his brain. Yeah. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. What about this room? So could you read something about this room? Remember whose room this used to be? Uh... No, it was liquid. A form of incubation. Oh. <laughs> the DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Indeed. We should go meet him at some point. Mm-hmm. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. And you know, thanks. We developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes. I can still sense the turmoil in you. Witnessing the extinction of our empire. Fabric of your being was forever marked that day. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. <clears throat> What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Protean B.I. that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inosan. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No, but they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. <laughs> As you might have noted, uh, he looks very different from those statues we saw on Ilos. Oh, uh, yeah. So those were actually the inner Sanan. Interesting. Why do you think your own cycle lost the world? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conform to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, 
we could not adapt. The subservient well, we definitely don't have that issue. Then it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Mm. Back on Eaton Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen. And we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Protean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. <laughs> I mean, it worked. Yeah. And now, the big question. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And can you tell me about your religious beliefs? Or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? Oof. I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Mm. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early, we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. Well, now we know the ancient, yeah. wise, benevolent Protheans were anything but. Yep. In fact, they were asshole precursors. But hey, yeah. one's going like, yeah, to we'll, start kicking we'll ass on our behalf. Yeah, I guess they were more like, yeah, we'll help you if you submit. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Thank you for talking never imagined actually meeting the Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? <laughs> to discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> <laughs> Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. 
they used to eat flies. That means it's new way more than it should. Yeah. He's probably gonna be the favorite squad mate, I'll tell you right now. Yeah, uh, probably. Yeah, I like him already. Yeah, a he's, lot. And he's got a lot of good dialogue throughout all the missions, so. If that was just this introduction, then yeah, I can do <laughs> Well, this went on a bit longer than intended, but it was well worth it. Yep, worth it indeed. So, um, we'll see y'all next time.